once again, welcome to Countdown and to Australia. Seems like a permanent fix, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Here he is back again. Now listen, um, you haven't been uh, doing very much since uh, since last year as far as the Edinburgh concert, and that was sort of like your supposed retirement period. Yes. But you've, I now believe that you've spent more time in a recording studio than any other time possible. I'm sick of recording studios. I've um, been to loads of them. Since last September, I've been in a studio with Kiki, a group called China, which is uh, David Johnson, James Newton Howard, and Roger Pope from my old band, and uh, a group called Blue. And done produced three albums with Ply Franks. Who was a sound engineer? Yeah, came up so we have well. partnerships and production, and uh, we're exhausted actually. We're just fed up with studios. Yeah. Now, so tell us about this group, Blue, because they're just about to release a single um, mm. on, the, uh, on the world market. Yes. Uh, I've, I've heard the single, so you can just tell us a little bit about the group. Uh, well, I'd heard of them. They, were, they used to be on RSO Records, and um, they were the support group for Kiki's uh, tour of England before Christmas. And I went to see Kiki in Bradford, and Clive Franks was doing Kiki's sound, and he mentioned the group were very good. Mm. So John and I listened to them, and we liked them. And then at the Albert Hall, we saw them again and made them an offer. They couldn't refuse. And so you've just been spending most of the time in the last five or six yeah. weeks in, in, in the Yeah, yes. I've been wet nursing them and um, trying to help them out um, because they, they're, they're not in a particularly good financial state until they mm. sign us. Uh, and so getting the instruments together and things like that. It's been good fun. I've really enjoyed it. And they're tremendous. It's been, they're very raw. It's sort of like working with the early Beatles in the way. Now, you've, you've sort of puzzled a lot of people just um, in the fact that the last time I spoke to you was just on virtually the eve of uh, the release of Blue Moves. Um, and uh, apart from perhaps performing once, I think, on one television show, uh, you haven't done anything virtually to, uh, to openly promote Blue Moves. No. Um, oh, I did, I, well, I did uh, a Top of the Pops and a Morgan Wise show, and that was about it. Yeah. Uh, no, not really. I haven't had the time. I haven't also had the interest. And when you do television these days in England, uh, you have to do a backtrack, and, and, and it never sounds the same as a record. So yeah. the only time I've ever been on television promoting Sorry was just piano and voice. And I just... That was the one you did live, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah was... Quite honestly, television programs in this country don't warrant spending a lot of time doing a backtrack in the studio because it comes out of the set sounding like rubbish anyway. Yeah. He said, having a go. And uh, well, you must have been happy with the result of Blue Moves as far as success, because a lot of people claim, and I think it's one of your best albums you've ever done. It's done, it's done very well. I mean, it's, it's, as I said, I didn't really go out of my way to, to promote it. I did one interview for it, I think, yeah. as well. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I've been too busy and too lazy to, to promote it. Um, I've got six or, s six or seven songs written, um, which I'd like to do as one-off singles, or which could be one-off singles, which I like doing, like Philadelphia and Lucy. Yeah. But uh, I've got to get in the studio myself, and <laughs> I'm so fed up with being in the studio with other people, the thought of going in for myself just uh, doesn't appeal to me. Well, with the... Um... Nice jacket, dear. Thank you. <laughs> You've got one the same, actually. Oh, yes, I know. Um... Clean my car with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously, um, now that Watford yes. is, looks as if it's about to uh, bounce into... Uh, into one of those divisions. Yes, well, if we have a good side. chance this year, if we win on uh, win this week, we'll be fourth. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but there's a long way to go yet. It's a third of the season to go now. But mm -hmm. uh, we're in a handy position, handy. Well, if, if that goes well, and you sort of, you know, said that you want to devote a lot more time to Watford this time about six months ago, uh, is there any chance that you may perhaps go on the road again? Because I believe you're doing two concerts with Ray. Are they well, still on? Not two. I think it's seven. The rainbow. Seven. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Supposedly with Ray. Um, Ray doesn't know whether it's going to work. We'll only, we'll only know when we rehearse if it's going to work or not. If Ray doesn't do it, I'll just do it on my own. What, the same as the Edinburgh? Yeah, yeah. the same as but with um, a, uh, a bit more prepared and um, yeah. different songs. Uh, after that, I have no plans at all. I've got to go in and do a Captain Fantastic soundtrack album, and I'll have to do a new single. Um, Kiki and Blue are doing a tour of the States, which I have to go over and play Fairy Godmother too. Pardon mm. the first word. Um, uh, <laughs> Godmother, I mean. Yeah, right. So that's in June. The football season starts again at the end of July. <laughs> so I don't think I'll be touring again yet, no. No. Um, no. Um, you were saying you have to go and do a new single, and a lot of people, again, you sort of said well, it was sort of a once-off, but is there a chance that perhaps you and Kiki may do another one? Oh, yeah, I've got two songs written for that. Um, mm. That's, again, it's, it's a question. She's so busy now. Yeah, yeah And I also, I, there's a mis uh, it could be... Um, it's a mistake, to, I think, to do one too quickly because she's trying to make it on her own without me. Poor girl, she goes everywhere and I say, well, where's Elton? It's yeah. not much fun, you know. That's why I want, really want to stay in the background as far as Blue's concerned. Yeah. Because they go everywhere and they have a hit record and then all, everyone just wants to know about me and it's just not fair. So eventually we'll do a, a, another record then. And just to finish it off, you're going uh, oh, back right, to right, that right, time. <laughs> no, I know just, what I'm not wanting. Uh, no, 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 yes. I don't want to hold up all that time. <laughs> keep it warm, keep it warm. Um, no, you were saying um, about, like, 
you made the announcement about the retirement, you're making a lot of headlines about that and people are sort of saying, well, you know, I'm not going to go back on stage and that. Then you did that one final performance at Edinburgh and the critics uh, came out after that saying it was probably one of the best performances and one of the best concerts you've ever staged. So is there a possibility, if the thing with Ray works, that if you did go back on the road, on say an American tour or an Australian tour, that it would be a concert like that where you'd just do a, a solo performance? I think whatever band I get back on the road with would be a very, very small band. Yeah. Uh, no more than a four piece. Might even go back to piano, bass and drums. Yeah. But uh, it, I shouldn't think possibly the way I'm thinking now, I want to go back to really simple things. Right. That's why I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, Sherbet. What does that mean to you? Oh, no. Garth. No. Alan. No. Tony. No. Right. The first time we were ever, ever really, really proud of Sherbet on an overseas level was with How's That. Let's have a look at How's That.